were shopping for my lunch so um wanted to talk again about our famous um, black jesus um maverick and um who gets a lot of people very upset and is actually right now seems to be on the run from is it he's is he on the run from what his friends are doing to him ivan women or is he on the run from us um who are reacting towards his sometimes bizarre behaviors but anyway that's not the point today i wanted to talk about um iron myra's excellent habit in food safety um again we see that this young man he eats very healthy he eats a lot of fruits okay lots of fruits and um and he and usually the food that he eats is like cooked at home and this is why mr matua's um home is a very good place for him to eat well and not starve he um so now the habit that i really want to talk about happens to be the social aspect of food okay yes food is something that is social we we eat together on a normal basis like you know certain families they eat together but in american culture like people just don't eat together anymore and um you know people take you know like tables food at table it's not as common as it used to be in the in the family yes people still eat together it's a social thing i mean you go out to the restaurant you have dinner together but you know in the household that is rare and um we notice that through mara mara's travels he travels and he eats at different families houses and i wanted to uh take note of the family he met in goa india where he was eating at that house and you saw his caution notice how he did not pick up the japati looking um flour or uh, bread if you will until the others picked it up and i really like the way that all the hands went and picked up that together and he as soon as he saw the hands picking it he went ahead and he grabbed and he was enjoying the food with absolute um confidence that the food was safe to eat because um we know that Mara is afraid of like you know maybe some people poisoning his food or something as he noted in December and that is something that is to be thought of because you know when people trust you and trust your food it's something that's very special i remember for example the people who went and sold my spirit to the Dominican Republic because i was a black woman i was a black haitian woman. um they when they came to my house they showed me that kind of trust and i guess that's part of buying me because i don't trust that haitian mulattoes are very kind to blacks to the black haitian um so for me i don't trust these people because you know i trust that they i since racism among them colorism so i just stay away from them so when this woman she took she came to my house with her son and then she asked me for water and i didn't have water you know like you know like um bottled water so i offered them orange juice and then she told the, the son drink everything and he did so he did drink everything and that was to me a show of trust you know and that felt good like you know oh these people would trust me but of course i was very young at this time and um you know and this is one of the ways i guess that they used to allow the the young to trust them as a person and then the next thing i know of course you know trusting them as, as tolerant actually cost me a lot but it but the show that you know th th that they were like she was like drink everything but there was me on the other hand um this lady is like i had eaten at her house i even asked her for food but one of the things that made me that i didn't i found very strange is after they started behaving strangely and i was and i was like where do i stand how do i protect myself because as a black woman i didn't have anybody who what needed to, who wanted to listen to my story to tell um and my suspicions so what ended up happening is i ended up in the hospital 
um, if my family brought me there, by the way, because they refused to give me answers. Instead of giving me answers, they wanted to twist it around like I was a nutcase or something for asking the questions about the behaviors. So um, when I, so I was brought to this lady's house, and I still, to this point, I asked myself because she had soup for me. So instead of eating the soup with me. You know, it was like she reserved my soup oh in the refrigerator, God. and um, and then you know they were eating a different type of food than that what they served me. And to this day, as I discover, you know how much I am belittled because I am belittled lower than women who are of by them than women who are you know of their race and not of mine. You know, mulatto women and not of the blacks. So it was like they came actually to, it's like, I guess that's the way you sell slaves. So um, when I look at, you know, the way that they have belittled me, then I go back and I remember that soup that I was served and nobody else drank of the soup. So when that's separation and that is not safe. And why, was I, why, why did I end up drinking that soup? It's because my mother was there. My mother brought me there. Okay. So not that I, so it was like, I had nowhere to turn. Like, you know, how do you not drink the soup? But they were eating like white rice and normal food so they were not eating with me so this is the problem so this is one of the things that i saw that the goa family they ate with i and myra they made him equal to them so for me it was like that soup was equivalent to my being lesser than them no matter what they say the fact that they were not eating really with me even though they were eating next to me across from me but it was as if they were scorning me so understanding how the mulatto haitians scorn and put down us blacks and by the way my talking about it emanates a lot of hate for me like how dare i who do i think i am like this black woman to talk badly about the high class well-bred people so um mr motua also saves myra a lot because we know myra mistrusts the problem with myra is that it seems that he mistrusts blacks rather than you know any just mistrusting certain behaviors but of course we saw the, how he was very careful in the Islamic um, Indian house so we can't necessarily say he just mistrusts black but he directed his mistrust directly at black women and that's what I have a problem again showing you the colorism right but anyway we see how Mr. Matua saves him from s starvation because you know he can because that's one of the things that happened to me like two years ago is I, I started starving myself because I had somebody in, in my house who was trying to do the same like you know reserving little food for me like you know as a way of being grateful that I was giving them a, a shelter they were reserving food for me putting it aside and then I was supposed to come and eat by myself that is very dangerous because this woman could have been poisoning me and um you know what goes in you know and not you know you don't you're not eating with me you know you're not creating social environment for me and by the way you know before i put, gave you a place to live i was eating by myself happily so why am i going to trust you and your little reserve food you know i mean i am already living in a very socially dangerous environment so how could i be trust when you bring me a little side food so very important and i like the fact that mr matua or everything was like together so that mawa would be able to feel comfortable that you know if they could trust to eat it then he can trust to eat it so um kudos to mr matua great lesson for all of us and when you are a social when you have social pressures and oppression in what manner do you eat from people you eat in community with the person who is preparing the food it sits down and eats with you that shows you welcoming when the person who prepares the food does not sit down and eat with you gives you food in little isolation and you already don't trust the person trust your instinct very likely that person is trying to poison you but you know the people that Myra was saying was trying to poison him or could poison him ever actually they eat with us right I see that even like I, I'm speaking metaphorically we who are the audience um, I just love the way this lady is like, you know, come to my caban, you know, you are welcome here, grab your food, grab your drinks, and often she eat, she is eating while she's doing this, and I am, and I think that is very beautiful um, to create trust and to remind us of where we are safe, okay? So I wanted to show that, and I really like the, the theme of safety, food safety particularly, you know. Guys, you just woke up. 
uh, we're having breakfast here. And um, Mr. Mitua, maybe you can introduce us. <laughs> hey guys, uh, good yes. morning, uh, yes. good afternoon, good evening. Uh, yes. My name is Mutua 3. Yes. So it's time for breakfast. Yes. Um, I'm going to let Ben produce what she prepared okay. uh, this morning. Okay. Yes. Hey, and introduce yourself at least for somebody who just subscribed to the channel. They have no idea. Who Hi, guys. Uh, my name is. With the African culture in the community food safety and community that community eating together builds the health that's that's healthy without any pills without any pills you are getting the nutrients and the social um, and the social uh, the social medicine if you will and um, I, I am proud of you the, the um, depiction of that the beauty of that type of African culture and that's all I have to say kudos to I am Myra I don't know about if that Muzungu lady a, a drag queen who is now taking who is now um, taking our attention if such a person would ever bring you that kind of safety with food as you can see in the healthy African family of Mr. Uh, Mutua, where you are not being poisoned, right? You are not being poisoned, you are safe. So this is the thing guys, we rebuke all poisons, alright, because, uh, because one of the things of hate is to poison you. Where, whatever you don't know, they poison you, they poison what you, you think, your environment, your world, whatever, everything. So let's remove the poison by the community that I see in Mr. Madua's um, household. That is absolutely beautiful, building, helping Mara build trust, okay? Trust of black women because his wife prepares the food <laughs> and um, trust of family and community, even here in the United States where we don't find that community that often. In addition to that, we have papaya. Papaya. And this is um, chapati. chapati. Oh. And then I have tea because I love tea so much. Okay. And for those who don't love tea, we have porridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Anne. Yes. So let's enjoy. Amazing. Please. Or you still got the orange Open the door, guys. Guys, you just woke up. Uh, we have a uh, 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 Hey, guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, my name is Mutual. Yes. So it's time for breakfast. Um, I have a man who is watching. I for seeds. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and introduce yourself at least for somebody who just subscribed to the channel. They have no idea. Who Hi, guys. Uh, yeah. My name is Anne. Yeah. Um, we're here having some breakfast. Yes. Yes. It's not complicated. It's okay. sweet potatoes. Okay. Uh, fruit salad right here. All right. And well, in addition to that, we have papaya. Papaya. And this is um, chapati. chapati. Um, and then I have tea because I love tea so much. Okay. For those who don't have tea, we have porridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Anne. Yes. So let's enjoy the meal.